what are the biggest barriers and risks in enterprise adoption of LLM applications, be it drag or fine tuning, or maybe perhaps hybrid. Yeah, so I think the simple and the short answer is to, and again, this is just history repeating itself. This stuff is not a silver bullet, right? So we see people just, you know, throw data at it and then just go like, and now it should all of a sudden do, should do its magic and now it's solved, right? And of course, that's not the case. So, you know, sometimes people struggle with chunking strategies or those kind of things, or sometimes the queries that people have just fail to find the right candidates to provide into the REC pipeline. So REC pipeline is successful. If the candidates that are selected from the, you know, the, the, the body of data that you have actually contain the answer, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's a, that is, th those are very pragmatic things, right? So that we see. And, and if you allow me to interject, right? These are more of engineering problems than more of the scientific problems, right? So yes. I mean, you know, so. Yes. So the, what the scientists have done, that's, we can take that now into our world of engineering and create businesses around it and that kind of stuff. That's why all these businesses exist. And that is wonderful. So we do not need, for the sake of argument, we do not need more help from the scientists right now. We, 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 we're we good there, right? So we're now in the engineering world where just a business says like, hey, I have like 50 million, I don't know, contracts in my database. I want to efficiently search through them and understand what like relations are in these contracts. And then you talk about chunking strategies where the frameworks play a role, how you store it in the database, how it's retrieved, how you operate the database. You know, those kind of things, those are the challenges that you see today.